Hello and welcome to Vintage Story. Uh, this is day two of our adventure, and uh, as you can hear, it's rainy outside. <laughs> uh, but that's not going to stop us from getting some things done today, so let's uh, kind of look out here and see what we can do. Alright, so we got really lucky. We found clay. We found uh, clay here, right next to where we built the base. There's some more clay down here. And then here spawn. Now, this is not the permanent base. This is more or less a temporary uh, shelter for us. So let's kind of go over here to the clay. And uh, actually, we need a stick. Uh, let's get a stick first. Let's go over here to this tree. And see if we knock a stick out of this damn thing. There we go. There's one stick. Give me, number, give me more sticks. I need more sticks. seven sticks. <laughs> Let's go make us another shovel. We're gonna start pottery and it takes it takes a full day for the pottery to uh, do its thing. So we might as well kind of start working on that. Alright, we want a shovel. So we just want to cut off the edges here. Like that. And... Perfect. Alright, so we take that one stick, and we take that shovel head, and we grab it and put it there. Uh, we also got some logs, so let's go ahead and do this, and like that, I think, twine, right? What is the door recipe? Actually, I think it's this one. No? Right back. Door. <laughs> Crude door. It's a hatchet. Alright, we take our hatchet and we put a break there and gets us a crude door. Crude door will protect us from creatures that come and attack tonight. Alright, come over here to our clay pile. Now we gotta be careful because it does, uh, there is a fall right here. Somewhere. We might as well figure out where that is before we accidentally do that. There it is. So it's right there. <laughs> Go. Grab, I think about a stack of clay should be enough to get us going. Uh, there's two different kinds of clay. There's fire clay and blue clay. The fire clay has additional recipes, so it's better clay overall, but uh, it doesn't really matter for what we're doing right now. And this is a nice close. We already have a little shelter built for this. So, And what are we at here? We got a stack. All right, that's enough for me. Going back in our little, hole, hut, little mud hut here, and let's break some of these blocks back here because we're going to use some of the space back here for uh, activities. Go. We're going to probably have to go out and get more wood here in a minute, but that's not a big deal. All right, cleared out some of this mud. Can we go up a little bit more? Yeah, let's go. Let's use the stone as a uh, kind of blocking area. Ooh, all right. We we broke a hole, so we got packed dirt. Let's just pack some dirt in that hole. There we go. All right, our fire went out, so let's put uh, some log in there just to keep it going for right now. We are going to need more wood, and that's going to be what we're going to get next. So, uh, let's go here, here, and then here. Let's pack more dirt. Yeah, I think. I think that'll work. And then we can put this stuff in there. Alright. 
So we have our clay. Let's go ahead and uh, same thing. Nap it on the floor. Uh, but we get more recipes, right? Uh, we get a bowl. We get more bowls. <laughs> we get planter, cooking pot, raw crock, uh, crocks, crucible, flower pots, and get molds. You know, it's basic stuff here, right? Uh, storage vessel. This is good for food. And then uh, shingles, molds for axes when we have uh, copper, and stuff like that. So the first thing we're going to make is a I think the pickaxe mold. So you can see this, different kinds of, <laughs> a different kind of thing. So we have to add clay to this. So if we hit F, we get a bigger little... Uh, little thing here we just right click and we can add clay to this right so it just makes a bigger uh, plate so we kind of go like this and cover it up now we have a second tier here so we need to cover all of this up but see how we're like overlapping there now we have to remove the what we overlapped so we're just gonna kind of paint it on Let's go smaller, like a two by two here. All right, so now I can, eh, let's go one by one and then add that back in, remove that. And it's just really easy here. It just slides right in to the holes and just remove everything like that. And there we go. We have our mold, just pick that up. Now we can go over to our hole and place it down. Uh, now we need to place some stuff on top of it. Uh, we actually don't have enough sticks, so let's get out here and do some sticking. Oh, all right, we're gonna have to fill that hole. Up. Let's get this tree cut down. I see some berries over there on the uh, side of the screen, so we're gonna grab those too, and hopefully we can get some more sticks and some more logs, and uh, we're gonna need more grass. And I'll show what we're going to do next. Now, let's get these berries. Come on, give me the berries. Oh, you're still flowering. And I think I saw some more right over here, right? Yep. Alright, we have five sticks. That is not enough. That is... Let's get this one. Chopping down trees is the best thing to do. Notice our food is low, so we're gonna have to eat here in just a second. Go. It's like a loop yada. Oh, hey, look at this. So this is, uh, this is one of the ruins I was talking about. So these spawn in the game, naturally, right? Uh, it's like an old civilization that was here. Uh, sometimes you can find loot in them. I think that's just a tree log. <laughs> uh, sometimes there's like a, you know, like a uh, thing you can loot, but uh, it does not look like this one has one. And I believe you can punch these and break them. Yeah, and that gives us a piece of ash, uh, ashlar block, right? So, kind of nice. You can break all of them if you want and use it to build out of, but it's a pretty, pretty nice little block. And you can craft those too, I believe, but way later on. You gotta be, make a mortar and all kinds of stuff. But, uh, more decorative block, I guess, for inside your house. But then mud. I'm a, I'm a mud man, so I'm okay with the mud. There we go. Alright, how many sticks we got? Nine sticks. That is just not... That is a whole... Uh, that is not enough sticks. Actually, that might be enough sticks for this first one. That's true. Sweet, got some more berries. Oh, we 
Oh, some sticks we missed. So, first things first, let's put these on our bar here, and we're going to need another piece of firewood, and we're going to need, oh gosh, hopefully this doesn't waste it, there we go, we got a torch now, so I can go over here. Give me back my torch. There, let's do this. So, let's put a piece of firewood in there. Take our torch. Hold down uh, our action. Now we have a t lit torch. Uh, from what I understand, the torches don't expire in your in your uh, bag, but they will expire if you place it in the world. So keep that in mind. All right. Uh, now we need to do. I think it's. No, where's the sticks? Come on, is it firewood? I can't remember how to start this. There we go, it's grass. And then four sticks. And then... One, two, three pieces of firewood. And now we ignite it. And 24 hours later, that mold will be a full piece of pottery. So, pretty nice. Let's go over here and get a few pieces of firewood. Now, one thing cool, cool about firewood, I thought I cut all this down. I guess I can't pick it up, but the firewood, there we go. You can stack it in the world, right? This is kind of cool. So, if I go over here, hold down... Uh, sneak and I just place firewood right here and I don't have to actually carry it around anymore. <laughs> I turn all these ones into firewood too. Got the whole 28 of them right here so just drop it all right here. This is kind of neat right? Um, let's go get some more sticks. There has to be so hold on. Let's, there has to be a way for me to turn logs into sticks. So log, uh, birch log, right? Ingredients for or firewood. I guess you cannot turn a log into sticks. That's. I guess that keeps you keeps you working, right? <laughs> keeps you working. Uh, let's go right here to this one. some more out of this tree. Just kind of get all the ones near the base first, you know. And while that's cooking, and now we'll probably make a few more things with pottery. Um, but I think I'm going to focus now on getting some uh, farming going on. So we have a nice little spot right here, so we can definitely uh, start doing some stuff. Now, looks like my knife is about to break, so let's just make another one real quick. Like that. Now, there's a lot of this going on early on, right? You gotta do this a lot, and then uh, it's even more complex for more complex uh, stuff, but definitely instantly broke. <laughs> let's see if we can get some of this grass out here. We need all this dry grass anyway. can make a chest, I guess. Uh, I do have some of those, so... Uh, you can make a chest out of these. Uh, so we made baskets. Uh, you can make a chest out of these. Uh, cattails. Also, I think it's, uh, 30 of them? 30 of them to make a chest, maybe, maybe less. We will, we will find out here in a moment. Alright, where are we at? Nine. So, we need to start finding copper eventually. Uh, copper nuggets will spawn in the world. We'll need to bring those back to put into the mold uh, to turn that into a uh, an actual tool. So, 
so we can actually break rocks, right? So that's gonna be kind of well, one of our mini goals. We got another cave right here. Ooh, you can kind of see right down there. There's an like a creature. Ah, uh, yeah, he, I think he sees me. <laughs> Those are some of the creatures. It's very. Uh, I think the the game describes it as an eldritch uh, terror kind of game. So it's kind of interesting in that regard. I do like me some uh, Cthulhu Eldritch Terror stuff. Oh dear. Alright. Uh, hunting a deer at this point is probably going to be difficult. Ah, there's some more cattails. What do we got? 18. I'm going to grab the root because uh, I'm almost certain we're going to be starving soon. That's a deep hole. Now, we will probably run out of berries. Even though there's a lot of berries around here, uh, we probably will run out until we can... Uh, have some kind of sustaining crops that we can grow and uh, get a uh, some kind of food storage set up to prevent that from rotting. Go. There we go. Twenty six. Let's see if that's the magic number. There it is. It is twenty six. That'll give us a reed chest. So. Uh, we'll make that once we get back there. And that'll give us a few inventory slots we can free up in ourselves and put into our little hut there. Alright. I'm gonna have to build a little bridge over the, <laughs> these massive chasms. I don't want to go. Oh. Alright. So that's still burning. Let's put our chest. Where did all that go? Like this. There we go. And we'll just put it right here. Oh, okay, because you can put it down at an angle. That's pretty cool. Alright. Um, we can put the clay in there. We don't need that on us right now. We can put the cattail roots in there. Oh, we probably don't even need this on this at all. Drop that in there. Actually, I want to keep the sticks. That. Those cranberries together. I'll put the cranberry bush in there. We'll replant that here in a moment. And I'll put the pack dirt in there, alright. And we'll just come over here. Drop this junk in this hole. Cleared out a little bit of space. We can put those logs in there. And that kind of fills it up. So we have like a fire. We have a fire source that won't expire, so we're good there. Uh, let's go up here. And let's drop. Well, our axe is about to break, actually. So we need more. Blend. We have seven flint. Guess we should make something. There's one. There, eight. Uh, we got four sticks, which is not enough for what I wanted to do originally. Anyway, all right. Uh, we want. We want a spearhead. Uh, we'll make a weapon. So the only weapon we can use right now is the spear, which uh, I don't think it's that great of a weapon, but it's better than the club, right? That's the, that's the only one. Wow. That is a crazy lightning storm. Like, 
inside it got me. <laughs> Alright, there's like there's there's a club you can make and uh, I just don't think it's that great. I think the club is like a stick. No. Can't remember what the club was. Oh no, it's the knife. And it's the knife and the log. I don't have a log on me. So knife. And one log gives us a club, and we'll look at the difference between these here in a second. And we need another axe, so let's pop that down. I can't tell. I don't know if you can be, like, shot by the lightning and die. <laughs> That'd be, I guess, useful information. But, uh, I have no idea. There we go, got an axe. All right, let's put that one back on the bar. Let's put the club back on the bar. And let's grab another one here. There we go. And... I'll back out of here. It's still rain. It's still rain, but I think what we're gonna do is set up a little farm right here. Now... We're gonna need a hoe for that. Uh, but we should be able to just clear out all this grass real quick. And we probably want a bucket. I think we can make a clay bucket of some sort to be able to move the water around. Like the mo the water will flow uh, and you can plant next to the side there where the water is. But I would like to place everything in a very specific way. So we're going to try that. Get all these plant roots out of here. So we have a nice flat area. And you can kind of see, like, if you look at this dirt, right? We cleared all this out. And it was just the uh, medium fertile soil with sparse, sparse grass now. It's become, uh, it's becoming medium fertile soil with grassy on it, so it's kind of, kind of cool. You can kind of watch it turn, you know, watch the grass grow, if you will. Alright, it's our knife broke. Just want to get all these out. Almost got them. <laughs> a lot of, a lot of digging here. All right, so that's cleared. Oh, what the? Go away. All right. Oh, uh, let's see if we can make a clay pot real quick. We need more sticks. Damn it. Let's go do that. So many things to do, right? And we lost our knife, so that's gonna be our easiest thing to do. I can't wait till we get like more durable stuff. There's like uh, obsidian that you can find eventually. Uh, that'll make you a little bit more durable, I think. Knife. All right, let me take one of those. All right, use the knife on the cattail here. Yeah, we'll chop this tree down. It's only one block. Oh, that should give us a few sticks. Wow, not a single stick. Eight. Come on. Choppy chop. sticks. Wow. Oh, one stick. Never had such an issue for sticks. Alright, uh, let's go for this one. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. Let's grab some space. 
face. I'm just gonna punch these twigs. Let's see if I can get the sticks out of these. There we go. I'm getting more sticks this way. This works. This is the quickest way to get sticks. And it's already starting to get night, so let's chop this down real quick and run home. Now we are at day uh, day two, so this is the second night that we're going to have here in a second. And it is going to start spawning those creatures outside. Now, they're not ter terribly difficult. Uh, that's like they throw rocks and uh, whatnot, but <laughs> the biggest issue with them is that they uh, they're pretty uh, pretty quick. Uh, but they won't break the door, so we'll see them if they attack. But I think we're good on uh, having to even deal with them. So let's see if I can make this real quick. So we're gonna make a tool rack. Uh, so we can hang our tools up without having to uh, carry them all the time. So we can put our uh, spear there, uh, shovel there, club there. Yeah, there we go. That freed up a little inventory space so we can do some, uh, do some exciting things <laughs> while we're here. So that's going. We're going to make another. We're going to make another thing real quick. So we want a, let's see here. we need a hammer mold, but that one can wait. Watering can, ah, crucible, I think the jug is what we want. All right, so let's, uh, I think the jug will let me pick up water and move it. Alright, then we can add. And uh, doing this kind of stuff at night is uh, fairly useful. Oh, I need to eat. So we gotta eat, and then uh, probably gonna have to cook some cattails. Uh, we have 13 of them, so might as well cook them. Let's see here. Pop those in there, and then let's get ten logs. Throw those in there, and use our fire from our torch to relight it. There we go. Easy. All right, so go back into clay mode here and continue working on our clay jug that we had. Just going around here, just building our little clay jug very easily, very fun. It's a very intuitive way of building items. I think I saw something like this in another game called Card Life, but it was for like making weapons. And it just wasn't fully implemented implemented in a way that was uh, as intuitive as this, right? Like you're actually making the item. And I think that's kind of cool. Now you, you are following a guide, but it's not just like wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. I got me a, uh, I got whatever I'm making instantly, right? That was kind of nice. Here we go. We got our jug. Let's go ahead and go like this. Pick it up and 
place it in the hole. Alright, now we need grass, twigs, and four logs here. So, one, two, three. One. Oh, I need an empty end. One, two, three, four. So, one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Right. <laughs> uh, does it need more sticks than that? All right, I guess I need more sticks. So we'll wait on that. It is pitch black outside, and that is the end of day two. So thank you very much for watching, and please have a fantastic day.